Clackamas County family is mourning the loss of a 12 year old boy who was killed in his own home. Tonight, his father is questioning a system that he says allows the accused gunman access to his home. Fox 12's Anna Katayama spoke to the man and joins us with more on the story. Yes, we're over in Damascus. Uh, we're about 10 minutes away from this house. We're on Wednesday evening. There was a call about a man violating a restraining order. Well, by the time officers got into the house, it was too late. Everything about him was good. Wasn't mean. Just liked having fun. It's just a 12-year-old kid. Patrick Landers says his son texted him Wednesday saying that Rick was at the house. He was referring to 34-year-old Ricochet Allen Kerr, a man who was in the process of getting divorced from the boy's sister and who the family says was a threat. You don't got a guy sitting there saying, hey, I want to kill myself. And hey, cool, dude, go ahead and go down the fucking street. Landers raced home. He says his daughter called 911 but was ignored. According to police, neighbors called 911 to report seeing a man with a gun in the area. So I come flying through there. They shoot my fucking tires out of my truck. Truck, I still get down in here. I run to the back door. I see my son dead laying on the stairs. <laughs> when officers entered the house, they found the 12 year old and the suspect both dead from gunshot wounds. No one else was home. Police say the suspect got into the house by crashing his vehicle into the garage. Two dogs at the house were also shot and killed. Investigators believe this was a murder suicide. I'm never gonna see him again. I just want people to step up and do what they're supposed to do. This shit shouldn't happen. I mean, there's so much more shit that goes on. I mean, stuff like this, this could have been stopped. Well, the family says from the enforcement of the restraining order to the police response, it wishes that things could have been handled differently because they think that the outcome could have been different. Uh, we do want to let you know also that for families facing threats of domestic violence, we have compiled a list of resources and posted them to our website. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, go to kptv.com and click on the As Seen On section. Live in Damascus, Anna Kadiyama, Fox 12, Oregon. Just disturbing. Anna, thank you.